once again to NG Tracy. So um, I have lots and lots of questions that I receive and I try to stay on top of them, particularly about solar panels. Um, but I did get somebody saying, will you be reviewing the new Tasimo machine? And in my great knowledge of the subject, I said, what Tasimo machine? And very quickly found out there is a new one. This is the Tasimo Finesse. It says it's called the Intense One. It's like they've taken some sort of way of naming them in the way they did Friends episodes. So this is an absolute steal at the moment. This is 50 quid for this. But you also get five packs of pods. You've got Cabris, Costa, Americana, Costa Caramel Latte, Costa Cappuccino, and another Costa Latte. So for 50 quid, that's what you can get on the current Tasimo website. Now I don't work for any brands, I don't get paid by any brands, I don't accept anything free from any brands. So hopefully I'm unbiased, this is just things I like on this channel. And I do like my coffee machines. Another thing I particularly like is I have these from Amazon today, these new little um, uh, espresso glasses where there's one piece of glass inside and outer. So if it is a bit hot, you're not going to hurt yourself by touching a really hot glass and I'll put the link below for those as well because they're a bit of fun. So I think we'll have a go at getting this all out. One other thing, I didn't make a quick video on it, but one of the things that's been very difficult with all the machines, Dolce Gusto, Nespresso, Virtuo, um, Tasimo, is it's a nightmare actually to um, recycle because you're mixing food waste with metal or foil and plastic and these are all separate streams in the recycling so it's quite a specialist thing and up until now either you try and do it yourself or you're lobbing it in the bin and it's ended up at landfill which is not good is it so all these manufacturers have got together and they have formed this new company called Podback uh, I've made a separate video on it but the gist of it is you can put any types of pods in here and the system will evolve so eventually uh, this will be collected with your food waste by your local council, but at the moment you go to a Collect Plus store, about 7,000 around the UK, print off your label, or they can do that for you, and you drain the pods, put them in here up to 70, seal it, drop them in, and they go back to a new UK plant, which strips that down and gets those three different components, food, plastic, and foil, and recycles them. So that actually takes away a lot of the guilt. So with that in mind, Christmas is coming, and we can enjoy our Costa coffee at home. Let's have a look at this new uh, Tasmo Finesse, get it fired up and I'll show you what you need to do to get it brewing. Now there are two reasons I tend to spend a lot of time on YouTube talking to people and answering questions about Tasmos. One is that whoever designed their instructions must have previously worked on hieroglyphics in the pyramids because it's completely incomprehensible and it just doesn't help. I think it's supposed to be multilingual but it's more alien than it is anything human. Uh, and the other thing is We've still got Tasimo using polystyrene, which is a bit of a shame. Most of the other manufacturers have moved to use compressed cardboard inside. So, anyway, uh, we've got our instructions, so we know what we can do with that. Get rid of the polystyrene, that's another very difficult thing to um, recycle. It's much better if they used recycled cardboard inside these boxes, which Nespresso and Dolce tend to do now. Right, so there we are, there we have the machine. It's quite a big and a long one. It certainly already seems very good value for 50 quid. But I think the way these work with the manufacturers is a bit like ink, uh, ink, cart ink cartridges and, and colour printers. What they do is you they sell you the unit or the printer very cheap and then they make the money off the ink. And in this case, they make the money back off those T discs. That's probably quite a bit more they need to. Now, this is the machine I love. This is the My Way 2. Um, I've taken out the water, bitter water filter, because it takes up too much space. And I don't need that here. I don't have any problem at all with my water filtered. If you do, use a Brita jug and then just put it in, it's a lot easier. But the great thing about the Myro 2 is that you have these different bean settings and you can control the intensity of the coffee. So the whole idea originally of the Tasimo system was that it's driven by barcodes. So the barcode tells the machine what bar pressure it needs to go up to, what temperature, 
how much liquid to put through. Very, very clever. But of course, that meant that it was quite difficult to tailor it to your own needs because the machine is pre-programmed, that's what you're gonna get. The My Way basically gave you the options to overall that. You can alter how much you want, how hot you want it, and uh, that might be useful if you're making iced coffees in the summer, and how strong you want it. Now this is, although it's a much simpler model, this is the idea behind this intense one, that you've got a bit more control over the intensity of the flavour, so you can overrule some elements of how the machine is set up on the barcode. Okay, let me take you through your new machine. So you'll have a water tank at the back here. Pull it down and away. Uh, here you have one of the valves you need to keep clean that uh, the water goes through. And you'll also find there's a little springy one on the bottom there as well. They're things to bear in mind to keep clean. And um, you probably have an offer here for $20, 20, oh, $20, 20 pounds or 20 euros off your first orders if you order them direct. They are cheap. If you can get to Costco or something like that, it's pretty much the cheapest place to get this. So the first thing you need to do is you give this tank a wash out three or four times. So we'll do that first. Now looking at the front of the machine, everything comes apart. So you'll be able to find that most of it quickly pulls apart. This allows you to put different sized glasses in, but also it means all the components can go in the dishwasher to get them clean. And it's the same under here. You'll find that everything just comes out. Uh, just Pay attention to which way it comes out. So it's very easy to put these things in upside down. If you've got something wrong, this won't go back down when you're ready. So if you're having to force that, that something's gone wrong. This is the slightly different uh, start now. So push once or start the machine using the barcode. You'll find there's a little reader here. If you push and hold this for one, two, three seconds, this puts this machine in temp into intense mode, so you're gonna get a stronger coffee, so good for me. Now, another little thing, oh, another little bit of booklet there. This is the cleaning and the descaling disc, so uh, we'll use this in a moment just to first wash the machine, but about once a week you need to run this, and you just put it in like the coffee disc, push go, and pull some water through just to clear it out. And about every two or 300 brews, you have to decalcify the inside of the machine and this you put in the same disc and I'll put a separate video on how to do that rather than repeat myself here. So there'll be links if you need to decalcify. If you get a flashing red light or a red light that won't go off, it's not broken. It just means that the machine needs to be decalcified. Obviously that's particularly a problem where I live in Kent because we have a lot of chalk in the water. So right, I'm going to uh, fill this up. Make sure you keep this clean. There's a little safety valve there. If you don't stay on top of that and you leave water in the back of this range, that can go a bit green and gunky. So you need to make sure you keep your water tank very fresh. So I'm going to rinse that tank out a few times. This is only what you need to do on very first use. And it's in case there's any chemicals that have been left inside the machine during the manufacturing process. So it's not the biggest tank in the world, but you're probably going to get two or three coffees out of that one. Now, the most common reason I get questions is from all machines is people say, I've done everything, no water comes out, or it makes a strange vibration noise. 99% of the time, although you think you have, you have not doxed the tank correctly. So in back, you should get quite a positive firm clunk there with all the machines, not just as always. Now, if that doesn't happen, then something's gone wrong, just gradually reload it. Right, let's just put a glass in here for a moment. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the orange cleaning disc, and we put that in where it can read the barcode. You see, it'll marry up. This will only go in one way, the same as a normal tea disc. And, oh, actually, turn it on. That'd be a beginner's error, wouldn't it? Right, turn it on. And then we'll pop that down. Right, and now we're going to push the little orange teardrop. Now the orange teardrop does lots of things. If you need to stop it because the cup's going to overflow, touch the orange teardrop. If you've not got enough and the machine has stopped, press and hold the orange teardrop and it will put more water through until you've got to your desired level for the coffee. But because we've got that orange disc in, we're just gonna press it once. And what it'll do now, it will clean the inside. I say something you need to do once a week, particularly if you are swapping from something like 
Cadbury's chocolate and then you're going to do some breakfast tea in it, you're going to get some pretty old flavours unless you run this orange cleaning disc in between. And that's just putting water through. It's not boiling water because um, you don't really need that for coffee, it's close to boiling. But the way this machine works is you've got the right temperature water but it's under pressure when it's forced through the ground coffee that's inside your tea discs. You can sort of see it there. That's one of my favourites, that's the Kenko Americano decaf. And my doctor says that's very good for me, so I'll try to have that as much as I can. So this will turn itself off. If for some reason you put too small a glass and this is going to overflow, just touch your teardrop. You can see a lot of steam and stuff coming off there. Okay, so that really much finishes it. Remember, this is hot, so be careful with that. A little bit of polystyrene. Right, now, just pop up, and you'll see it does most of it itself. And then that, store it there. Um, again, if you happen to lose your orange tea disc, or if you've bought a Tazemo machine second and it doesn't have one, I'll put the links below where you can get one of Amazon, it's about four quid, something like that. So before we go on and make um, a nice caramel latte, I'm just going to see the difference between using the intensity boost uh, on this. So I'll do two discs, one with, one without, and then I'll run them side by side, and then you can see what happens. So first of all, we'll just do it normally with a quick push for a normal intensity. This one's a decaf. So the noise you're hearing there is the pump that's building up the bar pressure ready to put that hot water under pressure through the tea disc which has obviously got ground, fresh ground coffee in it. I use the uh, Kenko Americano decaf, I find that's the best one and for me you, you can't really tell that it's decaffeinated to be honest. So I'm guessing the way this is going to do this is perhaps use more pressure or put the water through slowly or in fact just put less fluid through the tea disc and that's how it increases the strength or the intensity of the brew. That's pretty much finished there. As always, before we do the next one, we've got to wait for our little teardrop to stop flashing while it decompresses the pressure that's within the unit. Okay, so there's our ordinary strap. This time, oops. This time I'm going to hold the button for three seconds. A little extra light comes on here next to the plus beam sign, meaning you're in the intensity boost mode.
We've certainly got a delicious smell. I think we can now compare that one. Put them next to one another. Actually, what it's done is it seems to have a little bit more head, but it's put in less water. I think they are the same temperature, so it's not actually doing any difference to the temperature. Um, I tried some of these earlier on. To be honest, I couldn't tell the difference, particularly as I have a splash of milk in them. Maybe if you drink these black, you might be able to tell the difference. Um, I would say it was a nominal difference, if I was honest. But anyway, for the cost of this machine, it's an interesting extra facility to have. I think we'll go on now and we'll make ourselves a nice uh, Costa Caramel Latte. Right, so, the exciting stuff now, maybe you've had this for Christmas, and Santa's been very kind. Let's have a go then at doing a Costa Caramel Latte. Now the first time I saw this on the coffee machine at home, it blew my mind. I had no idea that you could produce fantastic coffees from such a little bit of kit that tastes just as good to me as they do in the shop. Now there's things to remember about tea discs if you'll need this. One is, you always go milk first. Don't know, that's a bit counterintuitive for a lot of people. And it should shake like that. If for some reason it's solid, it's probably out of date. So give that a really good shake, that because it's a really um, strong milk substance in there that's going to have boiling water run through it. Right, so as we push this down now, the barcode is going to read that. We've still got enough water. That actually punches the hole in that and now we're going to just punch, uh, punch, we're just going to push the teardrop. One of the other things you might like to buy to impress your friends over Christmas is some really long spoons and you're going to see why you need that in a minute. So this has got the most awesome smell because this is caramel latte. Oh, that is just heaven. And you can see you've got the froth from your frothy coffee there. wish there was smells available. It is the most wonderful smell. Now again, this barcode will tell this machine when to turn it off. If something's gone wrong or you've got the wrong size cup, touch your teardrop. Now that looks really full. Uh, it is quite full, but that's actually primarily froth. Oh, that's what you want to... Oh, that's what you want to inhale. That's the oh, most wonderful thing ever, that is. Creamy steam. Can't beat creamy steam, can you? Okay, so we're now going to get our second pod in here. Now you'll see it says, me second, and that's because you always put the milk in first. Now, you have to wait until this stops flashing before you lift this up. This machine is under a lot of pressure. If you push it up too early, you'll get shh, shh, shh. Sounds quite dramatic. Actually, your machine's gonna last about six months. You're gonna knacker the inside. You have to wait till that's a solid light. Then the machine is fully depressurized and it's safe to let it come up. This tea disc is now empty. It may be hot. Some of them keep fluid in them, so be very careful. This is not anything a child you should let children do. That is ready to go now, back in your pod back bag to be recycled. So right, we're now going to put our Costa Latte. Now this is the espresso. This is putting the shot in. The machine is now reading that barcode. It will know it's only got to put a little bit in. So we'll just do that now. Oh, look at that. I should have got my glass in the middle, shouldn't I? Now this, to remind, this always reminds me as a pint of Guinness, this swirly mixing effect you've got here. You see you've now got this at the bottom. You've got your creamy froth at the top. The machine should know the size glass I've done, so it should stop. Looks like I might have got that right. After six years, I've actually got the hang of it. And this is why you're going to need one of those. Because although it's quite nice to serve that to guests, particularly over Christmas, um, you know, for somebody new, again, remember this is still dripping and we've taken out the drip tray to fit the larger glass. And cappuccino will be all right on there. We're waiting for that teardrop to stop flashing. Look at that. Right, so you've got, your, you've got your sort of shot there, froth, a mixture of both, and this is often where the flavouring ends. So when I serve that to guests at Christmas, it goes like that, and I give them a spoon, because actually that wouldn't taste particularly brilliant. So what you need to go in is just give it one quick flick like that, 
and you have got, honestly, you really have a coffee that's about as close to a Costa coffee made by a barista that you're going to get at home. And you've got it currently, if you're quick, for around 50 quid, including five packs. So I hope you find that useful. But well, that is so good, you can always smell that at home, can't you? And I guess, depending on how you do it, that's going to cost you 60 to 80p. I don't know what that is in the shop now, three or four quid, something like that. Awesome. And on the Tazamo system, you will find many, many brands, Kenko, Cadbury. You won't find Starbucks. They're on the Dolce Gusta system, and they also have their own one. They were originally on Tazamo, and they were replaced by Costa in the UK. But luckily, I'm a Costa fan, so that doesn't matter to me. I hope that answered a lot of your questions. If you've still got someone, I'll put links to how to clean and how to um, decalcify on some of my other videos. It's pretty simple, take about half an hour and you need a little couple of uh, decalcification tablets. I'll put the links where you can get those on Amazon. Um, I hope you found that useful. I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. If you've just got one of these machines, you are a very lucky person indeed. Uh, so it's cheers to me. Enjoy your coffee. Please subscribe, it really helps me. And I'll see you in the next video. This is Paul and cheers for London. Oh, heavens, that is great. See you next video.